guys, it's Ben. Uh, I know I told you we weren't going to do any of these posted shy stamped uh, yards anymore, but we're making an exception because this customer called me and said that Rob from Rob's Odd Jobs uh, suggested that she call me and Rob, uh, it's a friend of Rob's. So a friend of Rob's is a friend of mine and uh, I'm going to do her a favor. She's a renter and she's afraid that the city's going to crack down on her because her grass is too long and they would too. Uh, so we'll take care of it today. Anyway, here we go. Overgrown yard with the uh, Vantage 36 inch. So the front I first cut at four inches and then I dropped it down to two and a half so she shouldn't have to have this done for a couple of more weeks but here's the backyard it's uh, mostly dirt but we do have some grass back here I'm just gonna set you guys over here in the corner you can watch me work this enjoy
Guys, there's two reasons that I two tier cut that. I cut it first at about three and a half, four inches, and then I come behind it and cut it at two and a half. The reason that I cut it high the first time is twofold. First of all, it's easier on the machine, on the belts and on the blades and everything else, uh, the tensioners and everything. Uh, but secondly, it's because of stuff like this. Those are concrete blocks. Those are pieces of concrete. Had I come, had I come straight in with a two inch, two and a half inch cut, uh, I would have been going home with a broken blade at least. And this job wouldn't have paid for itself. In fact, I would have lost money on this job probably. I'm not charging that much anyway. Uh, it's a friend of Rob's, so I cut her a big break. But we're gonna get it cleaned up and make it pretty. Uh, well, as pretty as it can be. Can't polish turd, guys. So here we go. There you go, Rob. I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the referral. I really do, and that one felt kind of good. I have a feeling that she may be struggling a little bit, so that's a good way to get my day started today. Feeling good. Move, Wyant. Make a hole. Make it large. Make a hole. Make it fat. Kh. Hi, baby. What's going on? Just coming out to do the fridge of fame. So, guys, here we are. Fridge fame time once again. But before we do, there it is. I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the Mo job today. I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me, how much did you charge for that? Well, guys, $35 is my minimum charge. That's my minimum drop gate charge that I do. And that's what I charged her, my minimum. Now, if she wasn't a friend of Rob's and I didn't feel like she could use a little hand up, uh, I probably would have charged her around $80 for that cleanup today. But uh, I could tell that she needed a hand up, and so I just charged the minimum charge. And you know what, KH? What, Some things are more valuable than money. Some things are more rewarding than getting paid money for it. I agree, baby. And that one felt really good to me. And I wanted to say thank you, Rob, for uh, having her call me. KH? Yes, baby. I'm turning it over to you, baby. So what's what? going on? We're doing the Fridge of Fame. Okay. It is time. And I finished a good book. What, what book did you finish? It is called The Tour. And it's um, by Granger. I don't remember the author. But it was a good book. It was about Ir a trip to Ireland. And yeah, I loved it. Great. <laughs> okay. Well, that was... <laughs> Less than that <laughs> informative. Was, that was just a great time. <laughs> book time with KH. <laughs> I would have to rate that as if I had if I my other hand was available I would give it two thumbs down yeah but since I'm holding the camera you're only getting one thumbs down that was a terrible book review but you caught me off guard KH yes bridge fan time okay. who do we got no addresses please no I know let me I have to see sorry you're looking Ulmer. awfully cute in your Greek flag I must say thank you it's from Ulner Lawn Care, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Can't wait to see what Ulner Lawn Care brought us, sent us. Well, I know for a fact 
that before she even opens this envelope, uh, owner of lawn care, Colorado Springs, he's just get, now getting out of the army, I believe. He's, he's separating as a sergeant. And I just wanted to say thank you for your service. We do appreciate it. Uh, those core values that you've learned in the army are gonna continue with you the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. Excellent in all you do, uh, service before self and integrity. Those are the three ones. I know those are the Air Force ones, but I know the Army abides by them too. Best of luck to you in your new career, man. If you're doing this lawn care thing full time, have a great time doing it. Yeah. Make a lot of money. <laughs> so there's this card. The Ulnar Lawn Care. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Ulnar. Ulnar Lawn Care. Uh, I don't think that he knows where he's ending up yet, but that's his card. And there's no doubt what he does. I like your logo, man. Look at the other side. And then the other side's got all kinds of stuff on it. It says, show this card for 20% off first cut. Man, that's good. That's a good discount. Veteran owned and operated, free estimates. That's nice, man. Okay, so. We're gonna put it on the fridge of fame. You guys, uh, owner Lawn Care's got a uh, YouTube channel that he just started up. You can get on the ground floor of that. I think he's got less than 20 subscribers as we're talking right now. Uh, I'm one of them. Uh, and I'm, I can't wait to watch him uh, grow his lawn care business. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, but, owner Lawn Care, you're going up against, uh, you're going up with such notables as the infamous Plemons Lawn Care, Midlow Turf Management, uh, Slim Tremens, Fence Armor, there you are. Hey, hey Fence folks, how's it going? Cruz Lawn Care and Landscaping, Angel Medias, Lawn Care Little Guy, uh, Mid Ohio Lawn Care LLC, and the SG Ninjas. Ulner Lawn Care. Welcome to the Fridge of Fame. We're happy to have you, man. We're happy to have you join us. And you're definitely gonna have to keep us updated on your YouTube channel about how your separation from the Army and uh, your integration into the civilian society goes. Uh, it's a little bit of an adjustment, man. I know you've only been in a short while, uh, but it is an adjustment nonetheless. You'll do fine. Don't hesitate to call me about anything. You got my number, it's all over the place. Okay. Okay, so, so we got a note. Dear Acme Mowing Crew, first let me thank you for all the videos you post on YouTube. <laughs> I think I have watched each and every one of them and am finally caught up. Your videos really helped convince me to go into the lawn care business. I hope I have as much success as you all do. Once I get my post office box set up, I will let you know. I would love for your sticker to be the first one I put on my Fridge of Fame. Yay! We get to watch another Fridge of Fame. It's so cool. That's awesome. Now I don't know now I don't know that I will use a fridge. You seem to have that on lockdown. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. There's a couple other guys out there doing it yeah, now. Hey, great ideas should be shared and yes. they should be used. Uh Bro, if you want to do a Fridge of Fame, I'm more than happy that you would do it. I think that's a great idea. Anything that consolidates and gets our community working together, I think is great. Yes. Please feel free to steal it. It says, but I will come up with something unique. Thanks, Jeff Foster, Ulner. And it, he says it's pronounced Ulner. Ulner Lawn Care. Ulner Lawn Care. Ulner? Yes. Ulner Lawn Care. Sorry for mispronouncing you earlier. There's gonna be a link in uh, the description below, guys, for his YouTube channel. Make sure you check him out and support him. Hey, he served you, and uh, we owe him a debt of gratitude eternally. Thank you, sir, very yes. much for your service. Thank you. Love each other. Make lots of money. And peace. Peace. We'll see you on Wednesday, guys. Have a great week. Bye, y'all.